For well over a century, the great American painter Winslow Homer has played an important role in the history of the Portland Museum of Art. He first exhibited at the museum in 1893, and in 1976, the museum received a gift of 17 Homer works. That gift also included $8 million to build a new wing, known today as the Payson Wing. The museum collection also includes more than a 450 illustrations acquired in 1991. But perhaps the most significant aspect of this relationship is the Homer studio at Prout's Neck in nearby Scarborough, Maine. The museum purchased the studio in 2006 and will open it to the public this coming September. The studio sits just off the rocks, overlooking the ocean and distant islands. Homer lived there year-round from 1883 until his death in 1910. Here, in a simple structure that once served as a carriage house, Homer executed many of the iconic paintings that feature the rugged main coast and majestic foreboding seascapes. Homer's work changed when he got here. Before coming to Maine, he populated his paintings with figures, indications of human activity, and bustling 19th century America. Once in Maine, tucked away in the lonesome coast, Homer's paintings became more spiritual, more abstract. By looking inward into his soul, he created a platform for modernism and led the way into the 20th century for the American art scene. And that is why the Homer studio is so important. It is a vital link to our past, and a site where many of the most important paintings in the career of one of America's most famous and most influential artists were created. The museum has raised more than $10 million to restore the studio and return it to its original condition. The restoration project is nearly complete. The building has been reinforced underneath, the interior walls have been cleaned, and craftsmen have rebuilt the fireplace and mantel. It has been modernized in spots a functional kitchen, and a comfortable bathroom, for instance. But the personal touches that distinguish the studio as Homer's, his handwritten scribbles on the wall, are still visible. And the upstairs wraparound deck, where he drew so much inspiration while staring out at the sea, will offer visitors a sense of what it was like when Homer lived here a century ago. The museum will spend this spring and summer preparing the studio for the fall opening. It will be outfitted with modern technology to make its interpretation interactive and informative. But when the studio reopens in September, it will feel like 1900 all over again, when Homer roamed these woods and bluffs and created the paintings that set the course for modern art in America.